Now that we have a real hands-on view at the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, we can see for the first time how the front looks. And to our surprise, the device looks better in real life than in those official images. I was glad to see that Samsung was finally going for those thin, symmetrical borders when I noticed the official design of the S24 Ultra only a few days ago. On the other hand, the titanium frame next to it looked a lot thicker than the one on the S23 Ultra. Also, it didn't make sense for them to want to make the frame bigger. This morning, I found a real-life leak of the S24 Ultra. It looks like all the reports and official renders were wrong about the frame. Along the lines of the S23 Ultra's frame, it's much smaller than they said it would be. Ice Universe gave a reason for why that is the case with orthogonal projections and other things. Regardless, the flat screen looks great, putting to rest any questions about Samsung's choice. Even the hole for the selfie camera got smaller, and the front of the device looks great as a whole. Samsung is giving away a $50 credit for free. Just put in your name and email address to show that you're interested in the S24, and then click Reserve. You don't have to pay for them right away or promise to buy them when they go on sale on the 17th. Plus, if you pre-order the phone, you can save up to $970 more with better trade-in values and other deals. Next, the S24 Ultra will come with One UI 6.1 software. Ice Universe says that the animations and general smoothness of the software are much better than what you can get on the S23 Ultra with One UI 6. When we talk about One UI 6.1, we have three more things that the software will let you do on the S24 range. First, you won't need a different app to compress videos in real time. You can do it in the gallery app itself. Think about a time when you need to share a movie quickly but the file size is too big. With this AI tool, users can compress movies right in the gallery, which makes sharing easier. That not only saves time, but also keeps the quality of the movie high while making it easier to share on different platforms. Second. The S24 lets you pick any part of the movie and add slow motion effects to it, which is really cool. You can do it right in the gallery without having to download any extra apps. It's great for drawing attention to a cool move in your video or adding some drama. Third, so without being said let me know your thoughts in the comment below. If you are new here please subscribe, peace out.